Andrew, what's <laughs> happening? What's up, Angel? How's it going? It's good. How about you? I'm um, doing well. Dave, how's it hanging, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> and we look have at a Kelly, look at Kelly in the leadership. Yeah, we have a very special guest tonight. This is this is actually her first executive executive director like uh duty I, not maybe not duty but at first executive director uh airing i think yeah this is it this is wait is this her like public debut this is her public debut know. yes yeah. as executive she's director she's on some library videos oh but it's Those not live yet oh not live yet ours is going live tomorrow well this will be tomorrow thursday the 6th will be official in the morning. Oh God. <laughs> so we have Kelly so Jones. Official. <laughs> I've said it a few times, but Kelly Jones is the new, the new executive director of Asheville County Leadership. We have, I have one important question first, Kelly, and this is the most important question you'll probably ever get. Oh no, here we go. Can we still use the uh, office for our uh, podcast when it comes back? Yes. Okay. And I don't care. You guys can talk right. about whatever you want. <laughs> do you, do you awesome. think Kelly really would have kicked this out of our studio? No, of course not. We'll name it the Kelly Jones Studio. We can do that. A little plaque up in the left-hand corner. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. We can definitely can. do that. So I have all kinds of questions. Of course. Andrew, first, what are you drinking in that coffee cup? Four o'clock coffee time. Oh. How do you drink your coffee? That color? Uh... It is that color, but I can tell you at four o'clock, it's not cream and sugar in my coffee. But what is it? Kahlua. Oh, Kahlua. Bailey, <laughs> pick it. It's there. No, I'm just kidding you. I don't drink. Anywho, but <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> how is it? So not to, you know, overcast you, but so Laura Jones was the executive director before you. Now you are the new, how, how hard is that to like, go into someone else's shoes. Like whenever I got hired onto a job that was someone before me and I knew them and worked with them, it was always like horrific that I was going to not do so well. So how you feel? Yeah, well, you know, I, I have to say the, um, everything's gonna change next year. <laughs> um, but it's not really because of Laura leaving, um, where we find ourselves at right now. I had some, I have big shoes to fill with, with Laura leaving and she's been great. She stopped by today. Uh, so we, we text, we, we talk a lot, but with the pandemic and how everything has shifted virtual and then we can't gather in large groups, everything is looking different. So we, we were joking that, you know, if we change anything up, this would be the year to do it. That people will be like, it's not the same way Laura used to do it, but we, we can't unfortunately. So we're we're changing some stuff up by necessity so are we allowed to hear about any of those changes Ooh, or is it yeah. like all top secret top secret no uh, so we have some great things planned we've been doing a lot of time the past few months in connecting with other leadership groups there's a lot in ohio there's a lot nationally and even internationally so we've been uh connecting with with other groups and sharing you know what's worked for them there are some groups that continue to meet so in person, but we, so we're working on different models of, you know, what will work best for Ashtabula and for example, our adult program, we're prepared that if we can't gather in large groups that we'll be able to break into smaller teams within our class days and still, you know, provide, you know, different videos and experiences for the class members that we haven't done in the past because that, um, the focus is a little bit different this year. Andrew, do you have a question or can I, can I have another question? You can have another, you know what? I, I'm obviously, I'm on the Asheville County Leadership Board. Look at that. Yeah. Which one oh, are you, Kelly? Bottom one? Through, like the oh, history. Oh, look at that hair. You have black hair? Mm -hmm. It's like the history of Kelly's haircuts. Oh, <laughs> yeah. very colleges. nice. What college did you go to? Heidelberg. It was Heidelberg College. Oh, okay. All right. Very uh, cool. They're the um, Oilers. The princes, the student princes. Oilers is family. I love it. Close. I love it when Andrew tries to throw out a fact and people are like, mm, no. Finley. Finley is the Finley's right next door to us. Right well, next door. 
Yeah. Thank you. We would go to like, they had the mall and Olive Garden. <laughs> hey, Olive Garden. So Kelly, can I ask a question? Yeah. What is the best class? Oh, don't, don't. Whoa, why are you Let doing Let me tell you what year thing? is not this year, okay? They're all the best class. The class no, I only, I only teach because me. we haven't had a class. No. 2020 has been a very sad class year, but we've, we've, we've held through. We've done some fun stuff even uh, during pandemic, I thought. I thought we had a lot of content still. So I would encourage everyone that to know that even during pandemic, leadership is a valid investment for an individual to participate in. Well, thank you, Angel. And be prepared. We have some, um, we have our day. So we're finishing out the class of 2020's program year. So we postponed and gave everyone you know, I'll be honest, Angel, I mean, we, we've all gone through so many changes that we wanted to give everyone a little bit of a breather to, you know, kind of regroup and we're going to finish the year strong. Uh, you guys will definitely have the longest leadership year ever. So congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Angel. So, and they, um, do we get a plaque? <laughs> no. Oh, but no it, plaques. No plaques. We can get a plaque. No, we'll just give them one of those cardboard cutouts with the year 2020 on it, like everyone else has. <laughs> so we're we're, uh, we're finishing out the program year in the, the next six weeks. I know, Dave, you're killing me with these pictures. <laughs> these are classics. Good. I'm sure, of course, Kelly, Kelly, hopefully you wanted these to be public. <laughs> yeah, I know. I told him, I'm like, you're not going to be my Facebook friend anymore. I like your hair now. That was Circa. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> this is why Dave's the best. I mean, you just, you know. I got to get Dave off my Facebook. I know. Just He was going through, like, the archives. I think I've been on Facebook since 2005. You can change that. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks that are watching, this has gone so sideways so quickly. This is the professional, Kelly. Uh, oh, oh, you got a bikini. Got a bikini in that one. And then the other one was Kelly prior to professionalism. I don't know. Is that, uh, is that vacation? That's Portugal. Is that honeymoon? No, that was in Portugal. We had to swim out oh. to a rock and jump off of it. Sweet. Wow. Adventure. Also, that's how your it's class year is going to end, Angel. What? <laughs> that's how your class Dave, year is going to end. Come on, Dave. <laughs> you, have oh. to swim out, you have to swim out to a rock and jump off. Yeah. Only <laughs> one way to end the class of 2020. And that's it. <laughs> and so, it Finishing up the class year, what, what does next year look like with the kids? So next Schools year. Schools are like this. They're just limbo. And we, we kind of talked as a group. Um, you know, we, we pulled people together, um, people from education, healthcare. Um, I, I think you're part, of, you're part of the committee, too, as well, Andrew. Um, you know, we were looking. We can't responsibly, if schools are not gathering in person, it would not be responsible for us to, you know, gather kids from all around the county together to travel all around the county. So we are working and I'm working on um, reaching out to our youth participants. Uh, we will be going virtual this year. Uh, th just because we're virtual, it does not mean we're going to be on Zoom for eight hours a day. So I don't want anyone to be scared with that. But we have some really cool activities um, and things planned for our youth program year that will incorporate some of the stuff that um, they get through the traditional program year. So we're just adjusting, um, you know, increasing some of our curriculum and we're reaching out to schools too to, to work with them as well to, to share, you know, what our curriculum looks like for the upcoming year and what type of projects they have planned. So Kelly, for, for like if mom and dad or aunt and uncle, grandma and grandpa are watching or even one of our younger viewers, how do they participate in the youth leadership program? Uh, they register when they're going into their junior year. So at the end of the sophomore year, we go and we visit all the schools and we talk to um, all the sophomore kids in, in the different classes. It varies with every school, you know, how we talk to them, but we make sure to talk to all of the sophomores and they can apply. Uh, typically, we end our application period in June, but we have extended it out just because of, uh, we, we haven't, we weren't able to go into the schools. Right. Um, but it definitely was, it was different this year. We did a lot of virtual reach out. So if any parents are watching, they can go onto our website 
um, www.leadershipac.org and right there on our homepage, there's, you know, information you can click about our youth programs so that they can find out. And for any students that have applied that are watching it, uh, parents, family members that they know about the program, you know, definitely reach out with any questions and there all the information is on our website and our Facebook page. Now there is a fee associated with the youth to participate in the adult program. So are there scholars, so if I was somebody who wanted to not know the student and didn't want to send my own student because uh, all my kids are grown up, can I donate to a scholarship for a student to participate in the youth uh, leadership program? Yes, you can. Uh, we have scholarships for our youth participants. Uh, we want to make sure, so the price tag is $400 for our students to participate, but we don't want to scare them off with that $400 uh, price tag. So we always tell them we have scholarships available. Um, if people are looking to donate specifically toward youth leadership scholarship or the adult program scholarship program as well, it, you know, please definitely do so. We, we, um, it helps a lot of people participate in our programs. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I guess, um, Angel McVoy scholarship. Don't start stuff. <laughs> Don't you even start stuff, Andrew. Uh, but what I was going to say is State Road Occupational will pledge one scholarship this year for one of your students. So just invoice me and I'll, State Road will cut you a check for a scholarship. Oh, thank you. Yep, yep. Can you... Now, Andrew, you. Can you plan to... Can, oh, let me think here. Let me think. It'll be about 15 or 16 years from now. Can you pledge that to send my son through leadership? I'd appreciate that. Sure. All right, right yeah. Kelly, yeah. 15 years from now, you better be there. I will. I will. I'm sure you'll have my number to remind me. And it this was is recorded enough. forever. It's, yeah. it's going to be in space forever. So <laughs> little Andy's going through leadership. I'll little Andy. Well, just make sure little Andy knows that uh, Invisible Aunt Angel made that happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll get a shirt with your face on it, and he'll wear it every program day. Don't do that. Or so Kelly... <laughs> I'm sure we'll be wearing masks in the next 15 years, too. Let's hope that goes away. Um, so now, what about the adult programming? How, how do we get, um, so we're going to wrap up our year, and then a new year is going to start, what, what's the start date tentatively? Do you have one? It is the last weekend in September this okay. year with the retreat. So it is September 27th to the 29th is the retreat date. Perfect. Yep, and we're good with Beaumont. We're going to be um, still retreating at Camp Beaumont. Nice. We're up in the air, though, in terms of overnight. Um, overnight will not be mandatory this year, without a doubt, uh, just because we know not everyone is comfortable. Everyone is so personal. You know, if they're comfortable meeting, you know, in person, in groups, outside, inside. So we're just trying to Recon, you know, we're recognizing that and, you know, with the different mandates and guidelines that are coming down, we're, we're paying attention to everything and making sure that we're, we're doing it safely when we, we host our program days. So if I was a, an employer, which I am, and wanted to send one of my employees, which I will, how do we do that? You can go online to our website, leadershipac.org, and you can apply online. I can email you the, the PDF. I'll email you the link and the PDF if you want to print it out and hand it to the person instead. She doesn't know it yet, but my assistant's going to be participating Ooh, this year. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I love, I love uh, your assistant. Jess, she's wonderful. So, okay. This is the best. And it's a good program year too. Yeah. It, now, is it okay if we ask how much it is to send an employee to participate? Yep. So the tuition for our adult program, it's $2,000. Perfect. Big book, Angel. Woo hey, let me ask you this now. In the next like 20 years, can you send my son through the program? <laughs> Asheville Leadership, $2,000. <laughs> well, I think in 20 years, it's probably not going to be $2,000 anymore because of inflation. Well, maybe. There's, there's, there's economics behind, you know, pricing. Um, and it depends. He might work for a great uh, company that will send him more companies really should send so i'm going to plug it which i probably should let everyone plug, else talk. plug away leadership so i have been i'm going to be 40 in november always a lifelong resident of the county i thought i knew everything there was to know about our county no not even close 
you and know that's all what the fun was so facts cool. Now? Fun facts. I got kind of, a lot of fun facts. Richard yeah. Dana gave a whole presentation on architects. I'm like, what? That guy's a walking fun fact. He he has way too much free time on his hands. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but it was really cool. And I think that's one of the things for like a company, especially a local small business like myself, that it's really intriguing for our employees to have all those little tidbits of what's available and really happening throughout the whole county. So then we can better serve our customers or our patients, um, whoever it may be, or just even ourselves and our family and friends. There were social services that I knew we had, but I didn't realize all of it. Like when two and one spoke to us, I didn't, they have like what, 700 programs. I never, even, never even knew that, that they worked with. So I just, you know, to plug it, even though I participated this year and I'm a big, a big supporter of leadership. I think that to send your employee or even at, if you have the time, cause it is kind of time dedication during a weekday. Um, it was fabulous. I, I absolutely enjoyed it. And I think people should have sent their employees. Thank you. Yeah, I went through the program when I worked at Kent State. So I graduated in 2013 from leadership. And I grew up in Ashtabula. My, you know, my family was big on like, you know, taking us to all the museums and going on Sunday drives. And I was amazed at how much stuff I learned. And also too, some of the, the friends and connections I made. It's the, you know, some of my closest friends since I, you know, moved back from college. So it was, it was invaluable, you know, the stuff that you do and it constantly, what I went through my leadership year, it's different than what you guys are going through now because the community changes. So the program changes to, to fit the community, which is awesome. And I'll, I'll say, I'm going to plug myself. What else is new? I uh, actually hired Kelly. I was the main, one of the main people that said, you know what, Kelly Jones, she's got it. She's got it. Like, that's it. I asked, asked Laura. I was in the in on the interview. I said, wow, she blew me away. I actually have my resume. I redid my resume after I saw your resume because I like the format of it. Not even going to lie. <laughs> Thank you. I love my resume. Like, it was very. Uh... I, I like it, too. I liked it. I was like, wow, this is a nice resume. I didn't even have to meet. I'm like, this, he's got it. That's it. <laughs> Well, I had to like search through a lot of resumes and past jobs. Like I would be like the, the person that would receive them all and file them appropriately and stuff. So I learned, I'm like, Ooh, I like the look of this, or I don't like the look of that. And then doing the design work. So, and you know, previous jobs I did. Not that I'm, designing. Not, not that I'm going to redo my resume, but can you send me your resume? Cause I have to see what this looks like. <laughs> nice resume. It's very clean, but it. Very clean. <laughs> I, now I'm curious. Can we have a, can we have like, you can even do it in a PDF so we can't like copy and just so I can see, cause now I'm like, my resume is like, just a plain resume. Not that I'm looking for a job or anything. It's just nice to have a nice looking resume. Yeah. Good looking resume. You never know. You never, never know, know when you're going to need it. You never know. <laughs> I might need Absolutely. a third job. Yeah. <laughs> but you have so much going on right now. <laughs> I might need a third job. So what other, what, what other fun stuff is happening? Oh, leadership gala. Is that happening? We are on the books for, was it February 22nd? So it is set, uh, but we are, I mean, we, we want to be optimistic. We know the world is changing. It is February 20th. Okay. Um, that's the Saturday. So same weekend in February, we're hosting our annual fundraiser. We were really fortunate. We were one of the last major fundraisers to be held before um, everything, everything struck. But we are prepared. If we have to, we'll go virtual. But yeah, we have it on the books. But if that has to change, then we're prepared to, to change it. We, of course, don't want to be hosting any gatherings that, I mean, we just don't want to do anything unsafe. So well, while, we're on, while we're on events, we have another event coming up virtually, correct? Oh, yes. August 25th. I, can give you that. I, just, I like to give you those soft, <laughs> softballs, Kelly. You just hit them. Thank you. August 25th, uh, Tuesday morning. Join us with some coffee. We are hosting our annual meeting. Uh, 7.45, the meeting starts, and it should be wrapped up by, it'll be wrapped up by 8.30, 8.45. Um, where's that at virtual. virtual 
Yeah, via Zoom. But like in my pajama pants? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure. I'm not going to lie. I may have lived in like leggings and dress tops for a couple of months in our house. That, hey, that's okay. It's Zoom. That's what, that's what we can do now. Woo, I have this at 7.45 to uh, 12.45 the next day. I don't think it's going to be that long. Yeah, no, that would be a long Zoom call. Yep, go on our website, register. We're going to uh, raffle off a little basket with everyone who registers for Neat. our event. Yeah. Andrew, did you register? Oh, yeah. I, I, like, I think you did. I got the notice. But so I don't think I can win because I'm a board member. If you win, I get it. Fine. I'm sending oh. Andy. I'm sending Andy to leadership youth and leadership adulthood, whatever. <laughs> you can whatever have that all, tag's gonna be. You can have all the baskets I win for the next two years. At all the events. At all the events. I I just feel like I got like a Christmas gift. <laughs> I don't win much though. So. <laughs> oh, just having you call me a friend is winning. Oh wow! Wow. I know. I miss seeing you guys. This is just awesome. not. Angel, I see you at the Y meetings. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, I saw you at the perk last week. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Hey, I was at the perk today. Mm. I had a total of six cups of coffee. For you, all at once? <laughs> right. Today. All day? Yeah. All day long, I drank coffee. So I got to <laughs> drink some water. I think I had three in an energy drink today. You shouldn't drink those, Andrew. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I will. Kelly, get out of them. Remember when we used to have like four pods at one time? And I was like, <laughs> and then like someone would bring beer at like six or seven. And it was like, all right, let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever watched uh, Family Guy? Yeah. yeah. That's what you sounded like a little bit. <laughs> let's get going uh what other uh so you got what kind of what big plans do you have for leadership at Shibuya County Kelly where do you want to see what do you want to grow how do you want to take us into the next 10 years the next 10 years what do you well, see what do you think giving Dave a raise for sure that's the plan on top of the list oh poor Dave I've had him doing so many videos and he will be doing a lot more videos. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. But no, I think we have a really good program and a strong history. So growing, strengthening our alums. You know, we have so many people in the community doing wonderful things. So really highlighting and showcasing that, continuing with our adult program, growing that, and our keeping up the work with our youth programs. I, I feel like we have such a strong um, history and support in Ashtabula. We, we have a lot of neat things that we're constantly working with different organizations on. So partnering with economic development, partnering with social services to, you know, what projects, what can we do to help make Ashtabula County stronger? So I think in 10 years, we're gonna be still doing the, the same thing and trying to work to make Ashtabula a really fun and vibrant community. You know, I mean, think about where we've come from 15, 20 years ago to where we are now. And we have some really major things happening in the community. And it, it's good to see the progress. Thank you. Hey, Andrew, do you have anything to talk about? Um, no, I don't. I'm just going to continue to do, I'm going to continue the work. That's, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to also grow Ashville County and do the work. Do the work. <laughs> I feel like that was very like PC, but it's true. Like I love leadership. I love what we do. I like my job. I like coming in and knowing days are different and, you know, trying to connect people in the community to each other because without those connections, I mean, you don't have anything. Without these connections, we wouldn't have a podcast. Right. I agree. I agree. I think we could live with, I think people would be okay without the podcast though, Andrew. No, I don't he muted us. Muted myself. I think, oh, I can't unmute him, huh? So we have about 10 minutes left. We have no control. Five minutes, because Angel likes to talk for like past that. So we have about five minutes left. Is there anything else you want to add to get out to the masses, Miss Jones? 
signature program applications. Uh, we're wrapping them up or finalizing them in the month of August. So if you're interested, you get that app in, Angel. I will. That Reach in. Out to me as soon as possible. If you have any questions at all about what our program year looks like, you know, you're interested in whether it's for you or for your child, you know, reach out to us. We are here. We are working. Um, we can reach out to us via phone, email, website, social media. So the August 25th, all of our um, community members, you don't have to be alum to register for our annual meeting. Please join it's us. It's free this year. Free. Yes. No breakfast. I get Angel. pajama I'm pants. I'm expecting breakfast, I'm Angel. I get pajama pants. Angel's cooking. Angel, mix me up some eggs. Breakfast at Angel's. I don't. Ooh, I don't, that sounds like a good fundraiser. Breakfast at Angel's. So I, I have a mean finger to order food. I mean, it's like fast. So yeah, I could do that. All right. TJ bagels. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. JT's for oh get TJ's bagels and then go out and get uh, Wall Street Cafe JT's JT's bagels JT's TJ's, TJ's. JT's. listen <laughs> it's very hard to keep my focus with six cups of coffee going through my blood right now <laughs> I am JT's surprised bagels. that you have my attention this long <laughs> the angel like walking around the house <laughs> I'm like sitting here like my foot's going Zzz. so I know where my cutoff is for coffee six cups you hit that point. Well, awesome, Kelly. We appreciate you coming on today. This is actually, we've, we've filmed, this is our fourth time, I think. No, this is. Filming you. No, this is my second. I don't know, Dave. This has got to be at least a third. Oh. I think Laura had a lot. Laura had a lot. Laura had a few that we didn't, that we didn't air. But Kelly, you were striking out. This was, you were on strike too. Thanks, Thanks Andrew. I this cool. one. <laughs> this one we will we'll post. It was good. We had it was a bad one. I didn't bore you. Your hair looks fantastic. You and you it. didn't say um. She didn't. Say, I've been watching as closely as I possibly could with my adult ADD right now. She didn't say um a couple Dave, times. Not much. Dave, Probably. Dave, did you? Did I you just count. Dave, Dave wasn't, pay, like Dave little wasn't paying attention. Like little, little marks. I hear that voice too much during the day. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know the love, Dave. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, cool. So we know how to get a hold of you. Kelly's uh, information is up there, and uh, we'll see you on the twenty twenty fifth. Fifth, and then we will continue to get your applications and get moving. So great. Welcome, Kelly. We're so happy to have you. Yay. As executive director, I, know, I knew as soon as we hired you, you'd be taking over one day. So, oh, thank you. So, Kelly, well, could, we saw five minutes, Andrew. So, Kelly, if we do have the leadership gala, can we have you back on? Yes. Yep. Perfect. We'll come back. I'll bring we'll have her back on, anyways. Next time, we'll have her in studio. Oh, yeah. I'd love to bring be back swag. in the studio. <laughs> bring the swag. What'd you say? I'd like to be back in the studio. We got a while. I know. Well, thanks again, Kelly. We appreciate you and uh, contact Kelly for everything. Or, or Dave. Or Dave. Because or probably, Dave. you know how shit flows down this way. Whoa, look at this. Dave. Look at it. She's so mad. Kelly, you're also on the whiteboard too, you said, right? Yep, on the whiteboard. That's, is that what you have to do? Is that what Trevor makes you do to get on the whiteboard? <laughs> Oh yeah, he like makes you, you can't do it unless you can <laughs> wait uh, lift past certain amount. <laughs> <laughs> That's why like he's asked me to be on the wide board. I'm like I can't. I don't have any upper body strength. <laughs> I did not a mile so fast, and <laughs> I did not have to do any of those things to get on the wide board. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kelly, because I wouldn't have been making the wide board if I had Man. to do those things. For sure. Mm -mm, no, I don't know. Maybe with copy, I could have. I, yeah, I think right. Scott. Right. <laughs> right. I can tell the energy, like you can just feel the caffeine, like even be like through Zoom. <laughs> I'm like really trying to contain myself. I'm like, mm. how's the Peloton going? <laughs> I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I have lost some weight though, but I hate it. It's like I walk by it and I'm like, disdain. You got a Peloton on your grave. Yeah. Peloton. Let me tell you what. 
I'm just going to say this because I have to. Peloton, any stationary bike, the seat literally is for a size zero butt. So when you have a size like 16 butt, 18 butt, your one of your butt cheeks doesn't even fit on that thing. How do they expect you to ride a bike when your butt cheek can't even fit on it? Like one, not even a butt cheek. Yeah, that's a, that's that sounds like a problem. I mean, a, it's hard. Right, take the seat off. <laughs> take the seat. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole that's a whole nother level we can't talk about on this podcast <laughs> so i'm so i do the towel andrew you have a you kind of have a big tushy so you come over and get on my peloton and then i want to hear you talk about how i i ride bikes with dave yeah but your bike bike is not that tiny a spin bike is definitely like it has a really little seat that's not especially if it's not comfortable Thank I, you, Kelly. but you get used to it after a while like I don't know. It does like Alice's. it does go numb after a while. I've never oh. really been spinning. Yeah, Before Kelly's that. right. Like after a certain point, your your butt does go numb. But yeah. then you yeah. get off the bike, and then you're like, oh, so and I'm gonna fall on my face because my butt and legs are numb. My butt's Actually, gone. My butt's gone numb before on my bike. Yeah, I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the things I want to say are not appropriate right you know, now, so I'm just right. going to end there. Kelly, thank you again for coming thank on. Thank you. We appreciate you very much. Welcome. Congratulations. And uh, we'll have you back on soon. Let's get through this pandemic. Stay safe, everyone. Wear a mask, right? Wear a mask. What? Wear a mask. <laughs>